Welcome to the Classic Game Room Intergalactic Space Arcade. There's not many people out there these days who prefer the original Mario Brothers to Super Mario Brothers, but I'm one of those people and recently found Mario Brothers on the Atari 5200. Let's check it out. Hopefully the controllers don't ruin this game because it's a really good game. You're in luck. This is one of the few games that actually does what the 5200 was intended to do. It outshines the 2600 version of Mario Brothers and plays acceptably well with the god-awful 5200 controller, although it will hurt your wrist after a while. Note that Mario is a carpenter in this game. This is from 1983 before he switched careers. From carpenter to bartender and finally plumber. How many of you remember Mario Drink and Dash on the ZX Spectrum? I'm sorry, the ZX Spectrum. It only had a limited release, maybe I dreamed it, but it was awesome. But this is carpentry in action here. Back from the Stone Age when Nintendo released games on non-Nintendo game consoles. And I, for one, am looking forward to the day when Sega buys Nintendo and releases Nintendo games on the Dreamcast 2. So we can finally end the console war of 1991 and come full circle, because had Nintendo games not been on the Atari 2600, I would have never enjoyed Mario Brothers for all the years that I did. I love this game and still cherish my Atari 2600 cartridge. I've previously reviewed this on the Atari 7800 as well, but the 5200 version, which was released in 1983, is extremely impressive and strikes me as one of the few 5200 games that you can look at and say, yeah, this, this is actually better than the Atari 2600 version. At least it looks better. It's a bit sluggish compared to some other versions, but it looks more or less like the arcade machine whereas the 2600 version was very basic. But this game doesn't require fancy graphics to play. It's from Shigeru Miyamoto before he changed the world with his fantasy vision in Super Mario Brothers. This is fun because it has that rock solid, awesome old school Nintendo arcade style gameplay. Like Donkey Kong or Popeye, it's Mario Bros. Wait, that sounds weird, Mario Brothers. <laughs> There was that time in between bartending and plumbing when he sold lingerie, but that game is only for Princess Peach. If you've never played Mario Brothers, I recommend that you do so. It's pretty simple, like Super Mario Brothers, you jump underneath the creatures, flipping them over for points, you then knock them off the ledge before they return to their upright position and collect the coin that the pipe spits out for big points. There's no timer on screen, but if you hang around the level after a few seconds, the fireballs start trying to incinerate you, and yes, they will light Mario on fire. But don't worry, he does fall into the sewage water below. As you can see, there's a variety of different enemy types, each of which require a different strategy to destroy. This is such a fabulous game, and I'm happy to see the 5200 version looks good and isn't ruined by the awkward 5200 controller design. Since you don't hammer away on the buttons quickly or try to navigate a maze with precision like Pac-Man, you can play this one well enough with the 5200 controller provided it works at all. After a while, the game changes colors and the little ice creatures start to come out and freeze the ledges which make your life miserable. Mario Brothers on the Atari 5200 is easily one of the best 5200 games that you can buy if you're collecting these. Although if you love Atari and love Mario Brothers, the 7800 version is the best version of the game on Atari game consoles. Hopefully this one will be re-released as a Dreamcast 2 game cartridge. That's right, it plays cartridges. But I don't think there's a release date yet. Anyway, if you'd like to travel back to 1983, Mario Brothers is a must-have game for your gigantic couch-sized Atari 5200.
before I wrap up, I should also mention this does have two-player gameplay. And the little pal box at the bottom will hit all of the animals if they're touching the ground. But if you're going for that, make sure you don't miss it. Uh...